Yeah, so, so the field of AI has been around from the early 60s. Uh, but for a long time, it was not important. We didn't have the computing power. Uh, we, we didn't have the amounts of data. There's just a number of things that, but uh, we've reached a point now where we have the computing power and we have the data and AI is, is playing a major role. And uh, nations believe we're undergoing an information revolution. And this revolution is going to have impacts which are bigger than that of the agricultural revolution or the industrial revolution. Uh, I, I, I tend to point out, like, before the agricultural revolution, humans were simply hunter-gatherers. But the agricultural uh, revolution allowed communities to form. You know, something really fundamental. Um, and the information revolution is going to have a, a much bigger impact. Um, you know, people think, uh, in, in the United States, they say the jobs are going to China. Uh, I don't think that's true. I, I think the jobs are just dis disappearing and they're not going to come back. Uh, if you look at an assembly, an automobile assembly line 30 years ago, you'll see a large number of workers assembling automobiles. You look today and there's maybe one person in a suit and tie walking across the... And uh, it wasn't that those jobs went to China. Uh, the example I use is that of elevators. When I was a child, uh, elevators, I had elevator operators. There was a control that allowed the operator to level the floor of the elevator with that of the building. But when we automated that, the jobs disappeared. And those jobs aren't going to come back. <laughs> and um, the world is going to be fundamentally different. And it's going to be in not too many years. And uh, it's possible that only 25% of the population is going to be needed to produce all the goods and services we need. And if so, how are you going to engage the other 75% in meaningful activity? Uh, you know, get them interested in music or travel or culture or athletics or something. Uh, and how are you going to distribute wealth? Um, you don't have to write people a check. Uh, if you make medicine free, uh, if you make uh, food free, uh, education free, that's the same as giving people money to spend, only you've sort of spent it on what you want. Uh, um, and um, what kind of jobs are there going to be? I think all the middle level jobs are going to be wiped out. Uh, there's going to be a, a low level jobs of people who are taking care of the elderly or the ill or something. And there's going to be high level jobs where people are implementing and developing these information techniques. And I, I think you asked uh, about AI, if we really would have a artificial intelligence system. Uh, right now, uh, deep learning and the AI are doing things like in the area of images, uh, they're doing better than humans, uh, but all they're doing is pattern recognition. Uh, and the example I think I used in my talk today, I said, uh, if you show uh, 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 an AI system something that looks like a bicycle, it'll say it's a bicycle even if it doesn't have the function to take me from here to the subway stop. And I, I think there'll be another revolution, and maybe 40 years later. The reason I picked 40 years is these revolutions have been coming 10 times faster. And from the Industrial Revolution to the information was 400 years, so 40 years. And maybe then uh, we'll be able to understand function and really be able to have systems which you would call intelligent. I see, I no longer have a definition of intelligence. I used to think it was the ability to solve complicated problems. But we now have computers that can play chess. Uh, but they don't play it in anything. It's simply they are quicker in looking at the game tree. Uh, and so I, I'm not quite sure how I would define intelligence today. Hmm. <laughs>